All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's laboring his work in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, Markim. And also, I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the man, woman, and children. That are listening to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability, Shalom. All right, and um, you know, so tonight I'm just gonna go through uh, you know, a couple of precepts, you know, that I was, you know, thinking about through the Spirit, and um, you know, I pray that this lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect. All right, so this is um, Salakia. All right, this is this is Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse eleven. It reads, "I returned and saw under the sun." That the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. All right, you know, and you know because this truth, all right, is it's not all about you know, um, um, it's not all about being being fast. You know, this sprint. I mean, this truth is like a marathon. All right, and if you go in a marathon running full speed. You know, you, 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 um, you, you, you're going to end up not finishing that marathon because you got to pace yourself when you run in a marathon or when you run in long distance, you know, you have to pace yourself and that's how you have to be in this truth. All right. You got to pace yourself. And you how about Shmuel Shai? He gave each man, um, a portion of the spirit. All right. You know, so some brothers, they might push out more videos than the next brother. All right, but you know, one brother might push out three videos. All right, but the Lord might have might put on um might have you know a bigger he gave might gave a bigger portion of spirit to another brother where he might push out five or six. All right, but it's all about um you know it's all about you know just you know staying staying diligent staying um. You know, staying occupied, all right? Because you about Shemuel Shai said, Ocup occupy until I come, all right? You know, feed the sheep, you know, you, doing your videos, going out to the highways and byways, all right? Reading, you know, watching the videos, you know? You just got to stay, you just got to stay moving. You got to stay con um, diligent, stay consistent, all right? And that's what this truth is all about, being consistent, all right? It's not about being the fastest, you know, oh, I'm trying to push out uh, more videos than this next brother. You know, it's about, you know, just fulfilling your lot and and, and, and um, staying consistent in, in this truth, man, all right? And um, let me get another scripture. All right, this is Second Timothy chapter 4. In verse 7, it reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. All right. And that's what it's all about, man. All right. It says, I have fought a good fight. All right. This is the fight. Being in this truth. All right. You know, this is this is a fight. Every day, it's a constant battle. All right. You know, so you got to take this truth day by day, you know, minute by minute. You know, you can't think about uh, the next day. All right. You know, because the scripture says roughly paraphrasing or loosely paraphrasing, you know, you know, tomorrow what tomorrow has its own battles. You know, today has its own battle battle. So why worry about tomorrow, man? All right. You know, I know uh, that's not what the scripture said, you know, but Lord will you get the point, you know, because this truth is just about, you know, living day by day. All right. You know, doing the work, doing what you got to do each day. All right. Because. When the Lord comes back, you know, the only way you're going to be satisfied, you know, as as or when Jacob Trouble hit, you know, because you're going to have people when Jacob Trouble hit, you know, saying like, oh, shit, man, I don't know if I did enough. Or they're going to be feeling guilty because in a spirit, they know that they wasn't, you know, um, giving it, giving it they all. All right. Um, they knew they wasn't giving it, uh, you know, um, being diligent every day. All right. But, you know, but if you take this truth day by day, all right, minute by minute. All right. That's how you're going to fight that good fight. All right. You know, you could because you can't take off days. All right. You can't um, slack. You can't slack off, you know, you know, because scripture says you got to meditate in, in, our, um, in the laws day and night, you know, and you got to constantly stay in the spirit. 
you know, and it says, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. All right. And we trying to finish the course. All right. We trying to finish. We, we trying to endure to the end. All right. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about endure to the end. It's not about um, what you what you did last year, you know, because when the Lord comes back. All right, he's he's he expecting you to be occupying. All right, the Lord's gonna come back as a thief in the night. So you know you can't take no off days. All right, you can't because uh, scripture say bent. Uh, let me let me just get it real quick. Second Timothy four and two. It reads, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. You know, and we gotta be instant. We gotta be. We gotta preach his word in season and out of season. You know, uh, it don't matter if it's. Uh, 120 degrees outside. All right, you still supposed to be out there preaching the words. All right, if it's snowing, all right, you know, if it's raining, you know, you're supposed to be preaching this word in season and out of season, you know. And it says, um, and it, it, last part, Second Timothy 4 and 7, I have kept the faith, you know, and you, and that's ultimately what's going to, um, what's going to keep you going, all right, because when the hour of temptation comes, all right. That, that, that's that's what's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. You know, having faith in your how about Shemal Shai? You know, having faith in these scriptures. You know, um, because these scriptures is going to comfort the is going to comfort the elect in those times. You know, you know, because the Lord says in those times, my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink. All right, that's all you got. That's all we have to do is endure to the end. All right, keep the faith. You know, and it says verse eight. Henceforth, there is a, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. You know, and, and the one hundred and forty-four thousand men, they're, they're going to be crowned by by Yahweh Shai. All right, and Lord willing, you know, we we are a part of that number. Lord willing, the brothers that sincerely going out to the highways and byways, sincerely, uh, sincerely doing this work. Lord willing, we make it to the end. You know. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not only to me, but but unto all them also that love his appearing. All right, and that's gonna be the elect. All right, because the two thirds and, and these other nations, all right, they're gonna be weeping, all right, crying, um, gnashing the teeth. You know, it tells you that in Revelation one and seven. All right, you know, the day of the Lord is gonna be darkness and not light. You know, people gonna be uh um, catching heart attacks, you know, passing out to death. All right, but um, let's get another scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. All right, it reads, For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right, so a just man, all right, they're going to fall in this truth. All right. You know, because we not perfect. All right. But we are striving to be perfect. All right. We striving to be like Yahweh Shai, you know, but a righteous man, we're we going to fall short. All right. Especially in this flesh. All right. But a just man, they're, they're going to keep getting up. You know, they're not going to let their sins weigh them down. You know, so in this truth, man, all right, it's going to be like it's going to be up and down moments. All right, but you gotta you gotta lay hold onto uh you gotta lay hold onto eternal life. All right, you gotta fight that good fight of faith. All right, because like and, and all the good boxing movies. All right, Rocky. All right, Creed, Creed one and two. All right, that's what made that movie good by by the by the opponent getting knocked down. All right, losing the fight, but but um but um but but getting back up. You know, nobody wants to fight where you just get knocked out and, and nobody gets back up. That's a boring fight. All right. So we got to be like soldiers, man. All right. We got to be on, we got to be soldiers for your how about You know, and let me get another precept. This is Matthew chapter 24. In verse 13, it reads, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so those are the ones that's going to be saved. All right, the ones that endure to the end, the ones that don't take that RFID chip, the ones that don't bow down to Esau. All right, the ones that keep the faith in Yahweh Shai. You know, because we got to strive unto the truth, unto the death. 
You know, so even if you got to get put to death, all right, even if you got to be a, a, a martyr for 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 even if you got to be a martyr, all right, you have to endure until the end, all right, and and those are the ones that's going to be saved. You know, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. You know, but we got to endure, all right, and um, get another scripture. It's Hebrews chapter ten. In verse 38 now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him all right so the just is going to live by faith all right the just is going to the just is the elect all right the elect is going to live by faith two-thirds of our people they don't have faith all right you know two-thirds of our people are following the ways of Esau all right they have been spiritually blinded all right, the Lord did give them eyes and ears that they should out that that they should hear, you know. So the two thirds they're not gonna have faith. All right, they they're gonna they they're gonna believe in Esau. They're gonna end up taking that chip because Esau is ultimately their god. You know, two thirds of our people they they envy their oppressor. It says, but if, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. All right. You know, if, if you uh, d um, betray the Lord in that day, all right, take that chip. All right, you 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 um uh, you um you denounce Yahweh Shai. You know, because it, um, the scripture said, roughly paraphrasing. Um, let me let me look it up real quick. All right, so this is Matthew chapter 16 and verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right, it says for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right, you know, so if you, uh, when, that, when that hour of temptation comes, all right, or when that enemy comes in like a flood, all right, and, and, and you and you denounce the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, you, you, um, you denounce your Bash Shai, all right. You go against the law, such commandments, all right. And and, and because because you scared, um, because you scared to be um, a martyr for this truth, you know. The, that's that's you trying to save your life, you know. You going back into the world. That's you. That's you. Um, that's you, um, Salakia. That's you denouncing your Bash Shai. You know, that's that's you choosing this world over the Lord. All right. And it says, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You know, so the ones who die faithful in this truth, the ones who endure to the end, you know, th those are the ones that's going to be saved. All right. Not the ones who 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 don't have the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, not the ones who hasn't remained faithful unto the Lord, who hasn't repented. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's laboring this work, and all chief of sincerity, Shalom. And also, I want to say Shalom to the hundred, to the, to the one-third, to the one-third, which consists of the men, women, and children that are listed to these videos and serving the Lord to the best of their ability. Shalom and Thawadi Yahweh Shai for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and Ababa Baba.